Hey y'all, I'm Rylan. Welcome to my channel. One of my goals for 2024 is to start doing more book review videos. So today I'm here with my first official one for 2024, which is for a brand new release that just came out this week. One that I got an arc of and read a couple of days before its release date. Who am I? I do not know. But I'm very excited to share my thoughts on this book with y'all. It just came out two days ago. It's a highly anticipated release for me. I have read all of this author's adult thrillers and this one was very eerie and very full of tension. So the book that I'll be reviewing today is The Heiress by Rachel Hawkins. I do have an outline for these video reviews that I'm going to be trying to follow. So. We're gonna go through this list as I give my review points and hopefully the more I do it, the more natural this becomes and the less awkward I feel, I, like the less I feel like I'm following a script. But The Heiress by Rachel Hawkins is an adult thriller that released on January 9th, 2024. So just three days ago, two days ago at the time that this video is coming out. And I got this book on NetGalley. I have gotten a widget for all of Rachel Hawkins' adult thrillers since 2021 with The Wife Upstairs. And every year when I get the widget from this publishing house, I get super excited. I don't tend to read her books on time before the release dates, but this year I did. So I'm very excited about that. This is a book following our two main characters, Camden and Jules. They have been married for 10 years and Camden is estranged from his adoptive mother who is an heiress who passed away 10 years ago i believe and he was left all of her money her house but he doesn't use the money he doesn't live in the house but his family lives there still and they are pretty awful they have to go back to the house for some reason and Camden is not excited about it. Jules wants to see where Camden is from. Both of them have their secrets, but they still love each other and they're a great husband and wife. They have not been completely open about their pasts over their decade of marriage. And once they get to the house and reunite with Cam's family, who he does not like, his family members do not like him, uh, secrets begin to come out, murder happens, and everything about this house and the past and the history of it and the truth about Cam's adoptive mother, Ruby the heiress, kind of all spills out in this very dramatic but slow burn unfold. Unfolding, I think, is the right term of that, the right form of that word. While we are following Jules and Cam in the present, we also are reading letters from Ruby past and we get to learn more about her growing up in this house and what it was really like living there and what she did with her husbands and things like that because she had four ex-husbands and all of them passed away and she was given this nickname but she never was accused of anything officially and it's just a lot of mysteries and secrets in this house with this very mysterious woman who was very very wealthy and left all of her money to an estranged son who wants nothing to do with these people or this house. So overall it was a very, very slow burn book. I loved it. The slow burn built the tension and the eeriness of the house and not quite knowing the truth while also kind of like hinting at what would come through one-liners that made me stop and think like, hmm, things aren't quite what they seem, but I really enjoyed those aspects of this book content warnings. I'm pulling up the content warnings that I had. Content warnings for this book do include estrangement, bullying, violence, blood, murder, death, the selling of a person, and then mentions of cheating. I will have all of those linked in the description down below as per usual. But for the moment you have all been waiting for, I gave this book four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. It was not my favorite book by this author though, which I was kind of bummed about, but I still really enjoyed it. I have given all of Rachel Hawkins other adult thrillers five stars this one was just very different in how we went about following the synopsis and the characters or the plot in the characters there is such a slow burn build up that I found myself not like on purpose guessing but I found myself being able to pull out moments in the book 
that made me assume that I could figure out what was going to happen in the end, and I did. There is no huge shock factor that I feel as though I have felt in some of her other books. There was no big wow or plot twist that really had me gasping. So although this book was very captivating and it had me wanting to know what happened next the whole time, I didn't quite feel the surprise that thrillers often give me because of plot twists at the end of the book. There is very much an air of mystery about all of the characters as well as the plot and going back and forth between the different characters and then Ruby's letters gave me the chance to kind of figure things out because we were following so many different people and they also weren't reliable and I knew that they weren't reliable so I was kind of able to put pieces together which is fine like it's not a bad thing but I definitely did not feel any super big shock that I have felt in her other books. In terms of the characters though, one of my favorite aspects of the thriller genre is the the nature of unreliability as a part of the narrative and I really feel as though Rachel Hawkins did a great job at building unreliable characters with this one. Camden and Jules, they're likable characters but they're not reliable because we know that they've kept secrets from each other and we start to kind of know what those secrets are but not until the very end are the full stories revealed. And Ruby also has a past and mysteries about her that she shares that makes her an unreliable heiress, an unreliable character, um, or an unreliable figurehead of this house. I do like unreliable characters in thrillers, not so much in other genres, but I do think that the way that Rachel Hawkins used unreliability in this book was to the benefit of the overall story. I think she did a great job with that aspect of this book and I really, really enjoyed liking the characters but not quite trusting them because there's nothing inherently like dislikable about these characters. They have done some not great things for sure, but I still liked them. I just didn't quite trust them fully, if that makes sense. But yeah, that that's this book. I really, really enjoyed it. There is a very slow buildup, which I feel is unlike some of her other books, at least some of her other thrillers. I think I was about halfway through the book when I realized that nothing had inherently happened while things were also happening. Like, there was no huge... Like, the people, the Camden and Jules, the people, the main characters, we're still driving up to this house, I think, by the 50% mark. So we we get a long way in the book before things kind of really start to happen, but I do think that the character-driven parts of the first 50% helped with the lack of super exciting plot up until that point. I'll go ahead and just read off a part of my review that I wrote for NetGalley because I feel as though I worded things best here to kind of capture my overall thoughts that I can't vocalize the same way anymore even though that was just last night so let me go ahead and read this the heiress is probably hawkins most eerie adult thriller to date and the tension of the slow burn buildup left me on the edge of my seat one thing i love about hawkins thrillers is that she makes me question the truth and who might be reliable this is one of my favorite elements of the genre in general the oftentimes unreliability of the narrative and that was certainly the case with this book the only thing that i felt was truly missing for me at least was that huge moment of shock an unexpected twist that i've have been so surprised by some of her other books. I feel as though the slow burn of the heiress gave me time to think about what was being hinted at in certain lines of the book. So while I had a fun time from start to finish, I didn't quite feel any major shock at what ended up unfolding. So that kind of goes along with what I was talking about with the plot earlier. I feel as though just the slow burn of it all kept me from feeling any super big emotions regarding exciting plot twists or oh my gosh, I cannot believe that happened but the unreliability of the characters tying in with the slow burn it really did create the space to have a very fun and enjoyable and mysterious time with this one the house in this book is not haunted but there is very much an eerie feeling that it kind of like it very much plays a role in how the characters act and who they are especially because with that house means money and money makes people do bad things sometimes so overall i did really enjoy it i would recommend it is this my favorite book by rachel hawkins it is not but i still had a very fun time with this i binged it in a couple of sittings and i cannot wait to see what she releases next i have read again all of her adult thrillers the wife upstairs reckless girls the villa and the heiress and i cannot wait to see what she has next because i know that it's going to be just as twisted and fun and exciting as her other thrillers that she has written over the past couple of years so that is all that i have for this book review 
four stars to the heiress by rachel hawkins which released on january 9th of 2024 if you plan to read this book or have already read it feel free to comment down below and let me know i would love to hear your thoughts on it i loved it and i cannot wait to see what she releases next but that is all that i have for this book review if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and comment i would love to interact with you on this channel thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one